My name is James Williams Jr. This is Kung Fu Havoc number two. So, first let me thank Top Buzz. Secondly, this woman. You know, I'm going to read y'all this byline. Shocking. This woman shot her beautiful girl, baby girl dead in order to save her from aliens. Woman shot her baby daughter at her own home house down in Bath County, Virginia. That's probably not too far from me. I've never been there. These stories keep getting more ridiculous. A grown woman, mother to this child, told the local police department that she killed her six-year-old daughter just because she wanted to protect her from some aliens that were coming to get them. Alright, I'm not going to go too deep into this. You guys can find the article on its top buzz. As a person who believes in supernatural shit, I am appalled. I'm pissed off. And I am mad as hell because I don't have kids. And I never got the chance to get kids. And I probably never will because I'm 44 and I'm not getting any younger. And it pisses me off for the people who are blessed to have kids to have some bullshit like this happen. One, if aliens are coming for you, and I'm not saying they won't, you don't kill your kids. You kill the fucking aliens. You know what I'm saying? I'm sorry if there's any aliens watching and I have offended you. You kill the fucking aliens. Aliens. I also know I'm in dire need of a shave. I just got out of the shower, so happy fucking Christmas. This is not the thing you want to read on a Christmas fucking morning. Me being dead, maybe, but to shoot a six year old kid whose life's just fucking beginning. I do a lot of things on things like this, and it pisses me off because I do believe in supernatural. I believe in God. I believe in aliens. I believe in Bigfoot. I fucking believe in fairies, too. And I'm not saying that they're dangerous. I'm not saying they're a thousand percent safe, but what I am saying is that, you know, when you, um, when you do stuff like this for ridiculous purposes, you know, you have to draw the line somewhere, and here's the reality, you know, if you're not on drugs or whatever the hell this person's malfunction is, you don't kill children. You don't kill children, and you don't rape children. There are many things that you can do in this world, but the two things you don't do is you don't fucking rape anyone, and you don't fucking kill any child. Now, I said child. I'm going to explain that, because as a veteran, the one thing that I just said was stuff that they told us we may have to do. And I don't want to talk about shit like that, but when I was enlisted, when I was in boot camp, before my career ended, we spent 12-hour classes learning that we very well may have to shoot children. Now, we don't have to rape anybody. That we don't have to do. They never told us to do that in the Army. But they did tell us that the enemy uses children as weapons. And our hearts have been, from the 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, have been the one thing that has gotten many of soldiers killed because in America, we don't do that to our kids. We send the kids to school. We don't strap grenades on them and go run into that building right there. No, we don't threaten them with we're going to kill your sister or your brother. If you don't strap on this grenade and go kill yourself and run into that building full of GIs and stuff. We don't do that here. Here in America, we love our children. We Most of us love our children. We don't beat them with broomsticks and shit. You know, we might smack them across the ass or smack them on the hand when they're doing wrong so we can teach them right from wrong, but we don't fucking kill our kids. Okay, that was hypocritical. Let me be more honest. Most of us don't kill our fucking kids. You know, there are some Americans that are just bad and they do do dumb shit to their kids. They molest them, they beat them, they rape them, they kill them. They do do that. I'm not saying that we're fucking saints on that, but for the most part... 55.70% of Americans do not beat or kill or rape their fucking kids. Not to say that they don't do that, the other 50 some odd percent, but for the most part, most of us pretty much love our kids and we will fucking die for them. We won't let them go dying for war. And if you ask any parent, they're like, no, I really don't want my kid to go to the military. I, on the other hand, 
view things a little bit differently. You know, your child's going to do what your child wants to do. And there's nothing you can really do to stop them. But especially after they turn 18, they're grown. No. But back to this in Bath County, Virginia, which, like I said, I don't know what part of Virginia that is and how close it is to my hometown of Charlottesville, which I am stuck in. You, you, you kill the aliens. You don't kill your children. You don't. You know, you, you wait, you stood up vigilantly and you wait for those damn aliens because if they're coming, they're going to come and there ain't nothing you can do but be ready. You don't kill your children. So I want you guys to think about that shit. To have someone say, you know, I killed my child to protect them from aliens. You know, a lot of people do shit to their children. A lot of people use, kill their children so that they can move on with their life and date somebody who doesn't want to be a stepdaddy or whatever. And if they don't have the child, they probably had sex with the woman and say, you know, things would be a lot better if you didn't have your children. If that's the case, give custody to your grandparents or give custody to your parents. Give them to someone who will take care of them if you want to move on with somebody who doesn't want children or who doesn't want to take care of your children specifically, but you want to be with them. One, you have a moral clock that's upside down. Two, if you have a child with someone and it doesn't work out, my advice to you is to only have that one child because you're going to make every child you have suffer if you can't find Mr. Right but keep giving people babies which is not the best idea any woman has ever had and while I'm on that subject because I have family members and friends that have done this let me give you a piece of advice one don't give everybody that you fucking have sex with a baby because it's not peaches and cream and fairy tales are full of shit all right, I know this because I tried to give a girl the fairy tale life. It didn't work out. I still fucking feel pain from that every fucking day, and I constantly will. You know, I should be over it. I'm not so much over it as forced to move forward because she didn't give me a choice. Now, if I had had it my way, we'd still been together. We'd been happy moving on with what I wanted us to have in life, and. Everything went to hell in a handbasket after we broke up for me. I don't know how she's doing because I'm not legally allowed to talk to her. But, again, fairy tales are full of shit. I'm probably the only man that ever believed in a happily ever after. You know, not just to have a girl just for pussy, but to have a wife. Someone I can hold at night. Someone who can hold me. Someone I can lay in the bed and talk to. Someone that I can look over at night and see that smile on her beautiful face and be happy. No, that shit didn't work out. But... That's what I wanted. I wanted to be happy. She made me happy. And now struggling to find someone to fill that void and replace that happiness has not been an easy task. It hasn't. But everyone else gets to be happy and James doesn't. So, therefore, as I close out, I'm going to do a Supernatural um, video after this just because it needs to be done. I'm James Williams. You just come for number two. Be seeing you.